viral image creator in AI Studio. This is the interface. It looks beautiful. Upload a picture. You get to choose a trend. It will pick up the latest trends. Let's see Ghibli. It was one of the most famous generated. And that's it. Look at that. Beautiful. You get a comparison. You can download the image and the image is downloaded. Let's see how to do it. First thing you need to do is come to aistudio.google.com. If you don't have an account, create a free account. Once you are over here, you'll see an interface like this. Go to the build section. This is what you need to familiarize yourself. It's just idea to a complete app in minutes. Yesterday I built Pixel Racer. If you want to see, the video is up over there or maybe in the description. Well, let's go through the interface so that you guys know what to do. Google AI Studio. This is the build section. Here we start. You have all of these Google apps available to you. All you have to do is click and then that app is available for you to create an app with or that LLM is uh, ready for you. So we are going to create a nano banana app. So I'm going to choose nano banana. Uh, however, before that, just go through the interface. The gallery is a section where you can see what others have created. Apps is a section where I haven't playing around. These are your apps uh, like created by you, created by others and uh, FAQ section. Uh, this is a nano banana app. We want to give it our image and it needs to create a avatar, right? So how do we do that? Uh, let's talk to it, you know, say, I want to create an app where I upload an image and based on the latest trends of image conversion, like a Ghibli Art Studio or a cyberpunk style video. Let's stick to these two first. And users should be, once the user uploads the image, it should be able to select one of these styles. And once we click generate, it should generate a side-by-side -side comparison of the preview of before and after image. Also, there should be an ability to download the image as well. So uh, let's get started. So I'm using dictate module over here. As you see, it created, I don't want to type. So I use that. You can also use whisper flow. I also have that, but we're not using it. The model that we are using is Gemini 2.5 Pro. You can use flash as well, but if it's free, why not? So you can give system instructions over here. Uh, my general system instructions are, do not jump into writing the code. First, brainstorm an idea. Right, come to an agreement with a high level plan and then proceed with the changes after my approval. You can select what type of uh, system you want to use. You want to use Angular or React. I really keep it like as it is. I really don't touch it. And this is just your mics and stuff. So we don't need any of these advanced settings. Um, I, it looks good right now. Get started. I also I want to add that. I want the interface to be modern, sleek, and in the design of gradients like modern colors like canvas, design blue and purple, all right? I, just giving it some UI UX design suggestions as well. So uh, it's going to take some time, but we are going to build it until then. So let's wait for it. And while right now it is going to think, while it's thinking, you can add more art styles. If you see over here on the right hand side, there are cards. Expand the creative potential when incorporating artistic styles like Van Gogh. So it's giving us more artistic styles, uh, but let's get the basic app working and we can keep adding on to it. Uh, I like to get the MVP built first. And then after that, once it is built, we can keep adding on to it, right? We need to get the basic app working first. Explore the app gallery, browse and remix. Uh, we don't want to do that because we already saw the gallery. It's trash. <laughs> Not a lot of stuff over there right now. Uh, style and density view uses more control over the artistic transformation. Uh, this is a very nice thing and we might add it later on, which will be different from the app that I built, but hey, we're building it again, right? Uh, we don't want any conversational stuff. So, oh wow, it already created. So if you see, it does not listen to the instructions all the time. I told it not to uh, start building it. But if you see the code has already been created, the code you can see over here, metadata.json, index.html. This is what you see in the front. It's using tailwind.css. 
uh, it's using Google's API, blah, blah, blah. We don't care. We love our app. I still don't like it. It's like too purpley, but we can change that later on. It has named it Imagine AI. Uh, pretty good, pretty good. So why don't we try to drag and drop? I know there was an issue uh, last time when I try and drag. It opens in a new, oh no, this works last time. Last time it was opening in a new browser window. This is good. We are going to create a cyberpunk style. So if you see the images are not cyberpunk or Ghibli, I face the same issue. So I had to give it a public URL of the images that I want to put in these placeholders. We can do that later on. Right now, let's create, let's create Ghibli to see how it created from the last time, like my previous thing. So it's going to take its time. It's working its magic. In the meanwhile, this is where you can copy the app save the app you can see the uh, region or the version history uh, you can download the app which is usually very small app and the download of this app once it's created will be available on my free school community because you can just copy paste it you can just go to school to aic plus this is the community and in the classroom and the free youtube section you should have it uploaded and you can download it so let's go back to our google ai studio we have generated, oh, why, why, look at that, very nice. But I don't see that, uh, I needed that comparison, what do you say, the drag slider which can slide, right? And it can also download the image. So let's, let's give it another prompt saying that, hey, that's great, it's working as expected. Uh, the only thing is uh, the side-by-side -side comparison is good, but I wanted a slider uh, which I can slide to see the difference of uh, before and after image. Uh, if you can do that change, that would be good. And also on the interface, it's too purpley. I need some white over there, you know, like a graded, uh, gradient faded feeling like a modern design. So please make those changes. So let's send it out. So it's thinking, it's analyzing what it needs to do. And once it's done, we will see a similar window like this where it is going to update the files. And you can also see the files um, getting updated in real time. Plus you can, once you download the app, you can also take the app and uh, host it, host it in uh, different hosting providers. You can also save it to GitHub. So we are going to do that. I usually save it. I have connected my GitHub account. So if I go to my GitHub, this code will always be there. And you can deploy the app. When you deploy the app, it gets deployed in Google's Cloud Run. Uh, it's its own environment, but it's it's not permanent. It's just temporary. So we will need to host it on Versal or some uh, Netlify and then use some kind of DNS. So I'll do another video for that. This video is just to keep it simple. Uh, they can imagine, uh, you saw how fast it created the app. So here we go. It's, updating the code as we talk and that's just phenomenal like you would need tons of developers to do this right i don't even know what a tsx file was until yesterday i still don't know honestly so let's wait for it to finish it perfect the changes are done let's try it one more time we are going to let's try cyberpunk this time and it is going to work it's magic and that is created. Look at that. Oh, wow. Look at the image quality. My boy. Wow, I really like it. <laughs> the cyberpunk image. And I like this slider as well. And we can download the image. If we download the image, we can definitely see it. It's in my downloads folder. Beautiful. Uh, I really love this app. The only thing which I don't like is the placeholder images. Uh, they are not what they show. So let's try to change that. The easiest way to do that is we are going to go to our trusty images.google. We are going to say like Kibli art style and let's say we want to add this image right as that. So I'm going to right click, copy the image address, go back, all right, and tell it, uh, let's, let's not type. Hey, that's great. Thank you so much. I uh, In the select style, the image that I see for Ghibli is not right, uh, the placeholder image. So can you please replace it with this URL that I'm giving over here? Thank you. 
I also want to change the font colors, like make it gradient, just like Canva's uh, pictures, uh, you know, the gradient uh, free flowing from blue to purple and the background is too dark. Make it lighter color like white and pink. Let's send it out. So we are asked it to do two changes. One is the background and one is the select the art style. And our updates are done. Look how beautiful this looks. The style that we told, you know, use Canva type styles, which I love. It made it pink and white. This is exactly what I wanted. And if you see the Ghibli images change now, so we can try it one last time. Let's take a different image. We are going to choose a Ghibli style. There is a check mark. This is better than the app that I actually created earlier. And I, I just have those layers which looks pretty as well. And we can do that as well. Uh, but yeah, this is much, and it's fast. It's fast, it's super fast. So yeah, very, very nice. Very happy with this output. And uh, last but not the least, so you will need an API key for this to work. You can also switch to an, switch an API key. You can switch a project. You can create a new one, but I only have one. I already showed you how to create that. And I'm going to download this app. And this app that I have downloaded, it's a zip file. It's a zip file, which is just like 25 KBs. And um, if you want this exact same app, I'll take this and put it on my school community. Link is going to be in the description. To use any of these services that we spoke about over here, you are going to need an API key and you need to add a billing account. To do that, you have to go to the API keys and you can add a new API key over here, all right? You can create an API key, you can select a project, which is there. I have already added project uh, billing to my Google AI Studio. If you go to the billing, I have used few credits. I, I used uh, VO3 to create a video due to, due to which there was a cost of $8, which I didn't know, but uh, apart from that, uh, the app building part, it's completely free. You do not need it as long as you're not using any of the LLMs, which are like the Nano Bananas, VO3s, and the chatbots and stuff like that. If you're just building an app, it's totally free. Levable, bold, replic, they're going to charge you for tokens. And uh, that is a game changer because Google AI Studio is completely free. Once you create your API key, and you need an API key, as we said, only and only if you want to use one of these services. And that is true if you want to do it with Lovable and Bold as well, because you'll have to set up the API keys and give it to Lovable and it will integrate it. There will be issues, but this is built in and it will work right every time. And thank you so much for watching this. I really hope you like it. Thank you.